You probably all know of Leonardo da Vinci as the guy who painted the Mona Lisa or drew the Vitruvian Man. But did you know he's actually considered to be one of the greatest inventors of the Renaissance period? In this video, I'm going to show you the top 10 genius inventions made by Leonardo da Vinci. Number 1. The Giant Crossbow Da Vinci's giant crossbow was just like an ordinary crossbow except for one genius difference. It was gigantic. Historians believe his intended goal for this weapon was to intimidate enemies on the battlefield and force them into surrendering or at least retreating. He never actually built this thing, but if he had, I'm sure we would all agree that it would be able to shoot giant stuff at people. It takes a brilliant mind to understand that making something gigantic would make it better. For example, guns are a pretty extraordinary weapon, but do you know what's an even better weapon? A giant gun. Giant crossbows could shoot giant arrows, and this is the sort of thing that da Vinci's genius mind could understand. Imagine being on a battlefield when, out of nowhere, the enemy starts pushing out a giant gun on wheels. I don't know about you, but I would probably surrender right away. I do want to make it clear, though, that giant guns are more commonly referred to as artillery, and da Vinci didn't invent artillery. Artillery was invented over 100 years before da Vinci was even born. So what he really did was improve on an outdated technology by making it gigantic. Sort of like if I came up with the idea for a giant typewriter. Wait, did I just invent a giant typewriter? Genius. Number two, the triple barrel cannon. During da Vinci's time, cannons were pretty much stationary weapons that were used to defend forts rather than battlefields. This was because they were generally too large and heavy to be moved around and they also took a long time to reload. Da Vinci designed his triple barrel cannon to solve both of these problems. He realized that making weapons smaller would allow them to move faster and make them easier to load. Tiny cannons could shoot more cannonballs, and this is the sort of thing that da Vinci's genius mind could understand. Although he never actually built this invention, historians believe that shooting three cannonballs at the same time is way better than shooting only one. Number three, the armored vehicle. Da Vinci's armored vehicle is considered by historians to be the precursor to the modern tank. It's a four-wheeled vehicle, and it's covered by slanted wooden planks to deflect incoming projectiles. It's designed to be driven by eight people who are constantly turning cranks that are connected to the wheels inside the vehicle. And when they turn the cranks, the back wheels spin forward and the front wheels spin backward. It was also equipped with cannons that were sticking out from every side. He didn't invent a way to load the cannons from inside the vehicle, but if he had, it would have been very impressive. He also never actually built his armored vehicle, and if he had, it wouldn't have actually been able to move because of the aforementioned wheels spinning in opposite directions. In modern times, tanks can be loaded from the inside, and they even have all of the wheels moving in the same direction. Number 5. The Robotic Knight One of da Vinci's coolest inventions is the Robotic Knight. It's called the Robotic Knight because it consisted of a suit of armor with rope and pulleys inside it that allowed it to move, sort of like the robots they had been making in Asia since the 9th century. His armored knight was designed to be able to move its arms and even sit down. Imagine all the ways this could have been used by armies to artificially inflate their ranks. The enemy would have looked at the battlefield and seen hundreds of knights moving their arms and repeatedly doing squats. He never actually built this amazing invention, but it would have been really cool if he had. Number 6. The Aerial Screw Leonardo da Vinci was fascinated by flight, to put it lightly. That's why many of his inventions are flying machines. The aerial screw is considered by many to be the precursor to the modern helicopter. It measured more than 15 feet in diameter and was made from wood, linen, and wire. To power it, four men would stand on a platform underneath the screw and run around in circles really fast. Next to his sketches, he wrote, If this instrument made with a screw be well made, that is to say, made of linen of which the pores are stopped up with starch and turned swiftly, the screw will make it spiral in the air and it will rise high. He never actually built it, and even if he did, I doubt it would have been capable of flight, but I'm sure it would spin. I also have to wonder how he intended to keep the men running in circles underneath it while it was flying. I guess this just goes to show that just because an idea seems absolutely ridiculous doesn't mean that it won't work. His genius brain probably just sees something that we aren't thinking of. Number 7. The 33-Barreled Organ Do you know what's better than making a gun with three barrels? making a gun with 33 barrels. Da Vinci knew that one of the biggest problems with guns from his century was the fact that you needed to reload them after every shot. To fix this problem, he invented the 33-barreled organ. This thing was basically a gun that shot 33 bullets at the same time. He figured that if he could fire 33 bullets at all of the enemies at the same time, 
there wouldn't be a need to reload. Which is actually true. Of course, if you missed any of them, then you'd probably have to reload 33 barrels, which would take a lot longer than loading just one. In my opinion. He probably already realized this, which would explain why he never actually built it. This is largely considered by historians to be the precursor to the modern machine gun. It's just, I'm pretty sure everyone back then knew they wanted to shoot more bullets. And I'm also pretty sure that they all knew more guns would mean they could shoot more bullets without having to reload. But it's not like he invented automatic weapons. Anyway, number eight, scissors. I gotta be honest, I'm finding a lot of stuff claiming Da Vinci invented scissors, but they aren't giving me any more information than that. I Google searched invention scissors, and the first thing that comes up literally says Da Vinci didn't invent scissors. It says, spring scissors were invented around 1500 BC in Egypt, and cross-bladed scissors were invented around 100 AD in Rome. Uh, I don't think he was alive back then, so I don't know if this information is accurate or not. Number nine, the parachute. The invention of the first practical parachute usually gets credited to Sebastian Lenormand in 1783, but Leonardo da Vinci actually conceived the parachute idea hundreds of years earlier. Da Vinci made a sketch of the invention and wrote, If a man have a tent made of linen of which the openings have all been stopped up, he will be able to throw himself down from any great height without suffering any injury. And again, I gotta be honest, I'm finding a lot of information saying that he invented it, but the, the parachute Wikipedia page has a picture from the 1470s showing a guy using the exact same type of parachute that da Vinci invented. That was over 100 years before he invented it. The page even mentions that Chinese people were writing about parachutes almost 4,000 years ago, so this makes me wonder. If people were writing about parachutes 4,000 years ago, and someone drew one over 100 years before Da Vinci did, wouldn't that mean Da Vinci didn't invent them, he just drew a picture of one? I tried ignoring it at first, but it's really starting to bother me that all this guy did was draw stuff. I mean, he never actually built any of his supposed inventions, and even if he did, I'm pretty sure none of them would have worked. This is not how I expected the video to turn out. Number 10, the Ornithopter. One of da Vinci's most famous inventions, the Ornithopter, perfectly displays his powers of observation and imagination. No, I'm sorry, this is stupid. I haven't even researched this thing yet, and I'll bet money he never actually built it. Yeah, he just drew it. How is this an invention? Look at this thing. We all know this would never work. This guy's about as smart as Wile E. Coyote with none of the dedication. You don't have to be a genius to know that giant flapping wings aren't going to make you fly. Most of his drawings have notes next to them claiming he doesn't want to actually build them because he's afraid of the evil that humans would use them for. Like, I totally invented a time travel machine, but I'm not gonna actually build it because humans would just use it for war. But it's a freaking time machine. That's pretty impressive, right? I'm totally a genius, but humans fight a lot, so I'm not gonna prove it. To sum it up, I'm, I'm not actually sure why Leonardo da Vinci is considered to be so great. I mean, ancient civilizations drew pictures of flying machines and they aren't credited with inventing flight. Considering Da Vinci never had an original idea, none of his inventions actually worked, and he never even built any of them, it's really no different than being a sci-fi writer. But Gene Roddenberry isn't credited with inventing the warp drive, and Einstein isn't credited with inventing wormhole teleportation just because he theorized it and wrote about it. The truth is, I have no idea why Da Vinci is considered to be a great inventor despite never actually inventing anything. But, uh, I don't know, he definitely is considered to be a great inventor, so... Yeah, you have to be a genius to pull a con like that off. I guess Leonardo da Vinci's true genius was being able to convince everyone that he was a genius despite never actually doing anything impressive. Don't forget to give this video a like and click the bell so you don't miss my next video because uh, this video might not have been that great, but my next one, uh, let's just say you're not gonna wanna miss my next video if you get what I'm saying. What an idiot. How do you invent stuff if you never actually build it?